Welcome to Altipass Graph Analytics and Algorithm Series. In this and the next video, we are going to learn about similarity algorithms. A similarity algorithm is used to determine how similar two nodes are to each other. These are the five algorithms we are going to cover. We put them into two parts according to the criteria they use to measure the similarity, which are neighborhood and property. We will discuss the first part in this video. Neighborhood-based similarity algorithms compute pairwise similarity scores by analyzing the relationships between nodes. For jacquard similarity and overlap similarity, they both consider the common neighbors that two nodes share. In this example, if we collect all the neighbors of node A and B into two sets, then their common neighbors can be represented by the intersection of the two sets. Jacquard similarity between set A and B is defined as the size of their intersection over the size of their union. Their intersection size is 2 and union size is 6, so their Jacquard similarity score is 0 0.33. Jacquard similarity ranges from 0 to 1. 1 means that A and B have identical neighborhood. 0 means that they have no common neighbor. Overlap similarity between set A and B is defined as the size of their intersection over the size of the smaller set. Here set A is smaller with size of 3, so their overlap similarity is 0 0.67. Overlap similarity also ranges from 0 to 1. 1 means that A and B have identical neighborhood, or one neighborhood is the subset of the other. This condition is relaxed as the denominator in the formula becomes the size of the smaller sets rather than the union size of the two sets. In the demo, we will consider market basket analysis, which is used by companies to identify items that are frequently purchased together. When we shop at the grocery store, we see that some items are always placed near each other, such as bread and jam, baby lotions and diapers so we can easily buy them together. Online stores are also similar in the way of recommendations. Instead of relying on intuition to create product combinations, we could use market basket analysis to make decisions based on previous transactions. The dataset contains more than 9,000 orders and 169 groceries. They are both nodes. Between them, there are edges from order to grocery, means that the grocery is contained in specific order. Next, we will compute the Jacquard similarity and overlap similarity between different groceries. If a pair of groceries has high similarity score, that means they are purchased together more often in the previous sales. We have the graph dataset in Altipa Manager. These are all the groceries. Let's take yogurt as example, find which products are more similar with it. Use the similarity algorithm. In prems, specify yogurt for IDs. It represents the first group of nodes you want to compare. For the second group of nodes, IDs2, we will specify all grocery nodes. Then the algorithm would pair yogurt with each node in IDs2. So before the algorithm, let's find all grocery nodes as items. We can't use items directly for IDs2 because it requires an array input. So collect all items ID in an array as items ID. Now use items ID for IDs2. Then declare to calculate the card. This should work now. Let's see the results. There are three columns in the results. All is 18 in node 1 column. This is the UUID of the yogurt node. In node 2 column, it's the UUID of all the other grocery nodes. And the third column is the similarity. It's good, but we could make it more clearly. Change to stream mode. First of all, let's reorder all the results by the similarity score from high to low. Then let's turn all the UUIDs in the second column into IDs, which are more readable. Find nodes by Jacquard. 
node 2 as item 2. In the return class, let's assemble a table. The first column is yogurt, and then items 2 ID. Last is the similarity score. It looks nicer now. We find out that the whole milk is the most similar grocery with yogurt, followed by other vegetables, tropical fruit, rosa buns. All the items in the first page are foods. If we scroll down to the bottom, we see there is no one ever purchased a rubbing alcohol or sound storage medium with yogurt. For overlap similarity, you just need to change the type to overlap. Overall, the similarity scores are higher than jacquard similarity. It's very eye-catching that the baby food has the highest score of 1, but I remember that I saw baby food in the bottom of the jacquard list. Yes, it's here. This may suggest that very few orders contain baby food. We could check it by using a pass query, start from baby food node, go through an edge and reach an order node. Let's see how many paths we could find. There's only one. That means baby food is only contained in one order. And if we spread from this order to see all the groceries that are contained in this order, of course we find yogurt. And now we understand why baby food has overlap similarity of 1 with yogurt. So this may be the trap when using overlap similarity. In real applications, the factors such as the number of total purchases or the category of products can be considered too in the decision making. These are the UKLs we just used. If you want to try it yourself, you could refer to this and these references. Altipa Manager is accessible through Altipa Cloud, our cloud graph database service. And I put the documentation links here too. Please feel free to check it out. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will discuss the other three similarity algorithms.